okay welcome to pv tech i'm friends and today i'm gonna install go tv go coda 2 okay so i have a new one go tv that's the latest go tv decoder and i'm gonna install it for you to know how you can install it to your tv set all right so to install it i have to get to know what's actually inside of us so you keep watching Okay. Okay. So we have here manual. This to help you to install your Go TV antenna. Uh, okay, so you have your accessories AV cable, funnel to AV out, and this is a QX cable that comes with it. Okay. I'm gonna get adapter power the decoder uh, and this is the clip for the antenna for you to mount it on any pole okay here's the remote that comes with it all right okay so here is the decoder itself very cute okay so this look really different from the old go tv decoder okay here is the old go tv decoder okay so at the back here you have the rf out and rf in av out hdmi usb then the dc port the power port for you to power the decoder all right so on top here you have some buttons over here power button and you can actually change the channels for this button in the volume as well okay all right so here is the antenna go tv antenna that comes with it they have already assembled it all you're gonna do is to fix them together okay and you're gonna get a battery okay for the remote all right so this is how you're gonna install your go tv go coda 2 okay so here is the decoder and if you're gonna use the av cable you insert the funnel Funnel side over here to the AV out. Okay, so this side will go to your TV set. All right, and this comes with an HDMI output. Okay, so if you're gonna use the HDMI cable to your flash screen television, you set it over here. So you use either this one or this one. Okay. Uh, this one gives you quality pictures the hdmi gives you the quality pictures so you can prefer using this one okay using the hdmi cable all right and you set your coaxial cable over here the rf in not the rf out okay so you set it over here the cable from your antenna you're gonna insert it over here all right so this side the power port over here 12 volts you set your adapter cable over there okay so that's it and you power your go tv decoder all right all right okay so to fix the go tv antenna 
just have to pick the two halves from the box and then you fix them together they have already assembled it so all left for you to do is to fix them together and you are good to go so the red side to the red side and the green side to the green side okay exactly like this all right okay and then you fix your QS cable your antenna cable So we fix it exactly here and the antenna the accessory comes with a clip so I'm gonna use it to mount on any pole okay this one over here exactly like this and you first place one half of it on top of it okay okay so like this mount it on your pole and you fix the other half okay so for you to continue with your installation your go tv go coda 2 installation all you're gonna do is to make sure that you're having enough antenna signal before you can move on okay so if you are living in urban cities where the antenna signal is available you don't need to mount it on a long pole before you're gonna get a signal inside your bedroom or anywhere around you can actually get a signal over there depending on where you are living okay so here you need to check whether you're having enough signal to get you a stable channel okay so you check your if you don't have any tracker you can just insert the cable to your tv set straight away and then you pan it you turn the antenna around to get a signal okay so if you have any old antenna you can also use it as well okay okay so you make sure that you're having you're having enough signal before you move ahead with the installation all right okay so after having enough signal you can move on with the installation okay okay so after installing your antenna having a stable signal on your antenna you need to connect your antenna cable onto your go tv decoder okay so you're gonna connect your antenna cable, the coax cable, at the back of your Go TV decoder. You have the RF in port, not the out port. Okay, so you insert your cable over here in the RF in port. All right, and you proceed with the installation. Okay, so whenever you own your decoder, you boot it for the first time. This is what's gonna appear on it. All right. So you press OK on your remote to proceed. So when you come here, you have the language option over here. You have three languages for you to select from. So you select your preferred language. I'm moving on with English. So you press OK on your remote. All right. So when you come here, you have the country list. You need to select your own country. Okay. So you have some country options over here, Nigeria, Niger, Morocco, Mali, Kenya, okay, so I'm from Ghana, I need to select Ghana. Alright, so you select your own country and then you press OK to proceed. When you come here, you turn the antenna power on, not off. So you turn it on and then you press OK to scan okay so you need to wait patiently for the scanning to complete all right all right so if you have watched this video up to this far all you're gonna do is to subscribe to this biggest tech community and then hit the bell icon you lose nothing by subscribing okay 
Okay. So after scanning your Go TV decoder, only the three channels will be working. So you're gonna call DSTV or Go TV office for the activation. DSTV and Go TV are from the same company, which is multi choice. So if you have DSTV office number, it's the same as Go TV office number. So you're gonna call them for the activation. And whenever you call them, they will be asking you to provide the details of your decoder, which is the IUC number. And every decoder comes with its own unique IUC number. So you're gonna find this IUC number at the back of your decoder. There will be a sticker at the back of the decoder that's have the IUC number. So if in case your decoder does not have a sticker with the IUC number, you pick up your remote, you look for the Go TV logo, you go to menu and you come to information. Okay. So here you're gonna find your IUC number over here. And after that, they will be asking you your mobile number and your address. Okay. So if you are doing the activation for a customer, then you're gonna ask you the details of the customer. So you need to provide. All right. So that's it. After giving them the details, your channels will start working. Okay, so if this is your first time being here, consider subscribing to this channel and you hit the bell icon. You lose nothing by subscribing. Okay, so if you are having any difficulty in your installation, you can actually WhatsApp me on the number that will be on your screen. But subscribe before you WhatsApp. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bless up.